What's cracking, Swolders? Mandler here at the Man Cave. Got an interesting Ask Mandler question. This one comes from a split tail named Erica. Erica wants to know how she can train while on her period. Erica, first off, let me congratulate you on not being pregnant. I am guessing the type of female that listens or watches my YouTube videos is probably not the type of person that needs to be giving birth right now. So. Congratulations on not having a butt in the oven. Now, let's get to the point. If you're, uh, if you got a bleeding hatchet wound right now, it's that time of the month, then I'm guessing you might have a little bit of an iron deficiency from, uh, from your loss of blood. Now, that is going to affect your, uh, your energy levels because you're gonna be a little bit more fatigued given the loss of iron. So what you wanna do is really simple. I would say make sure you, uh, Make sure you take a little iron supplement and should be good to go. Just make sure you, you clog that shit up because, you know, I'll be honest, man, I don't want any, any, any bloody hatchet wound or, or any split tail getting their goo all over my gym or whatever gym you're going to. So make sure you, you clean that shit up, take an iron supplement, and you should be good to go. Erica, you might think I'm displeased or disgusted with your question, and the fact of the matter is, there's a small part of me that is. I think it's very nasty, and, uh, but it's, it's kind of self-assuring to know that this provides a perfect leeway into my next little rant that I'm going to be dropping on you now. And that is why it is better and more awesome being a man than it is a woman. So here we go. Allow me to get my male chauvinistic pig face on and fuck you up with some truth. I'm going to be completely and brutally honest when I tell you this, and that is that I can't think of one reason why I would rather be a female than a male. Let's observe. Females typically are smaller, they're weaker, they have to live longer, and I'm not talking about those awesome years where you have great life. I'm talking about those last couple of years when you're probably sick and not really delivering much and are more of a burden on people than anything. And uh, I, I personally don't ever want to be a burden on anyone. I want to focus on quality years of living and uh, just ultimately a quality of life that, uh, that my youth and um, my vibrant personality and life will be able to benefit from. So you got that against you. You're, um, you're typically going to get paid less for doing a better job than a lot of you know, us men would do in the first place. And um, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, you have the whole periods, you have pregnancy, you have menopause. And ultimately, I'd say the one thing you had going for you, you kind of fucked up way back when, when the women's rights movement kind of allowed you to march to the forefront and do the things that you didn't have to do in the first place. And that was work. So congratulations, you got that going for you. Then you pair that up against what we get. Typically, we're, we're bigger, we're stronger, we don't have to suffer as long through our lives. And we have to worry simply about getting kicked in the balls. That's pretty much the worst thing that we have to deal with. Oh yeah, voice crash and we're hitting puberty, but that doesn't really count. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go on a limb and say this. And uh, this might get me in trouble, but the one thing I think y'all have over us is the fact that y'all contain and y'all have the most powerful force on the face of the earth going for you. And that's your vagina. And the simple fact is, is that will actually, if you know how to harness that power, can get you whatever you want in life. But a lot of us are smart enough to mindfuck you. That said, not all of you will um, understand that and will fall for any tricks that a lot of the true chauvinistic pigs throw out there. So learn from this. Erica, all you other women out there that are following me, which is probably about four, probably two after this video, understand that you need to play to your strengths. I've already established the fact that you're typically smaller, weaker, and ultimately don't get the same level of respect that you probably deserve. However, understand that you need to play to your strengths in order to get what you want. That's a simple fact in life, so do yourself that favor. For any of you others out there that have an interesting, unique question that you'd like to ask me, please make sure you send it my way. 
goeliteSC at gmail.com. I'd love to give you my opinion and let you know how I truly feel about certain interesting subjects like this one today. Enjoy the evening, fellow soldiers. Mandler, out.